Hey, what's up, my peoples? Emgo here, the freaking geek himself, and welcome to another exciting episode of Emgo Build Stuff, the series where I teach you proper plasma conduit procedure. You need it. It's just, it's just, it's just good advice. But moving on with the Eagle Moss slash Fan Home Star Trek: The Next Generation Enterprise D Kit. We are beginning issue sixteen. As always, this will cover four separate stages of the build. So let's take a quick look through the magazine. Of course, we have our parts list, our instrucciones, all of that good stuff. But let's take a look at the juicy stuff here. Manaja Troy. Oh. That was a fun episode. Any episode involving uh, Deanna's mother was always a very entertaining episode. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah. The ear. The ear is one of our most erogenous zones. Oh, God. Anyway. <laughs> so always some concept art. Transfigurations. Good episode. As always here, some concept art I always love. The concept arts. The medical tricorder. Best of both worlds. Oh, Locutus! Locutus of Borg. Yeah. Ah! It's a good picture, though. <laughs> Got some more of the Borg. Strength is irrelevant. Resistance is futile. Oh. There you go. Fine scene shot there. Locutus. Oh, Locutus. Family portraits. There you go. It's a beautiful family portrait right there. And casting Miles O'Brien. There you go, Chief. Chief O'Brien. Cool. There you go. So you have the magazine. Here we have our parts. So let's get down to it. Oh, let's engage. Say nothing to it but to engage it. So let's make it so. Oh, oh, oh let's make it so. Yes, yes. All right, let's slice open compartments here. We have some sticky things. We have windows. We have some reflective bits. We got skitties. Come here, skitties. We, we have some pieces of, looks like nacelle. We have some phaser strip. I don't know why I'm always so happy to see phaser strip, but I am. Got this deal. We have a little light. Get this out without dropping it. Go. And we have a section here of hull. And some muskets. Is that everything? That is everything. Get out of my life. Get out of my life forever. So. Now let's open up our instrucciones. Ay, que instrucciones. Ay, okay. So what are we doing here? We are on stage 59. Assemble the first of your ventral saucer panels before closing up the port nacelle to form the unmistakable shape of a galaxy-class warp engine. Oh, cool, cool, cool. Wow, that just... You, you stay. All right, <laughs> They're trying to make everything sound so dramatic in the instructions. I love it. I love it. Alrighty, so this is our first piece of the uh, bottom half of the saucer that we are working on. Yay! And of course, this is a nice die cast. So let's see, we are holding it thusly. And we will be applying some windows here. Let me get these, uh, let me get these clipped out real quick. And there they are, just four windows. That's all we're working with. So, uh, two black ones go in the middle, and the two clear ones go on either side. I need to seat that a little bit better. There we go, right there. Nope. Is there an orientation for this? Oh, there is. Oh, okay. There is an orientation for this. Okay. Okay. I don't know, I'll show it on the black one, you can probably see it better. You can see here that like one lip is slightly longer than the other. It seems like the longer one goes on the bottom. That's how that works. That's what we're doing. Okay, okay, okay. I thought these were just like all the other windows where it didn't matter the orientation, but with these, they do matter. 
Okay, there we go. Now they are the way they are supposed to be. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. Alrighty, so it looks like we are now taking this. And this is getting affixed thusly in a particular orientation. Well, they're holding it like this now. And there is like a little notch. Probably want the notch on this side, question mark. I'm a bit confused here. How's that supposed to sit? No, it's sitting this way. This way. That's the proper way. Right? Yes? 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 No. No, it goes this way. I had it right the first time. Okay, yeah, it sits like the... No. It sits like where... No. Let's line up shapes. Can we line up shapes properly? Is this a, is this a thing we can do? Apparently not. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously a bulb goes in there, a light's going in there, so... It looks like we're sitting like that. It looks like that's what we're working with, right there. Yes. Yes, it's the only way. It's the only way, even though they have the notch on this side. But... No, that cannot be. That cannot be! This is the part of the video where I'm just sitting here workshopping, making sure that I'm doing everything. Oh no, it does go this way. It does. It does. I believe it does. Okay, yeah. Because they want the notch on this side. Okay, there we go. <laughs> that took me way longer to figure out than it should have, I will admit, but it's okay. You know what? Sometimes I have my moments of complete and utter stupidity. Hey, it happens. It happens to the best of us. All right, so now we need some AM screws. One and two of those AM screws, them early morning screws. And get this into place here. As always, just get the party started. Oh, I should have did a little dippity dip. I'll do a little dippity dip with the second one. The first one will be dippity dipless, but that's okay. It'll survive. It will endure and it will survive. There we go. And now, boys, get here! We screw yet again into the final frontier. All right. Get those in snuggened. Not too in snuggened. Again, these are plastic. This is clear plastic, so we don't want to go too snug because we don't want to risk cracking anything just enough to make sure that nothing falls out. The window stays secure. There we go. That is what we are working with. Yay. 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 Okay. So... Put that off to the side. What are we doing now? What is going on? Uh, okay, so now we are installing this little bit of phaser strip. You guys know how much I love me some phaser strip. There we go. Phaser strip right there. And this will take two CP screws. Herpen, CP screws. Herpen. I need two of you, two volunteers. You, you, oh, now three volunteers, just two. But as always, I appreciate your eagerness to be part of this build. Alrighty. These are going into plastic, so we do not need any oil. Just get those in. I can't believe after how long we're finally working on the bottom half of the saucer. Seems like forever. Forever. But we're doing it. We're doing it, peoples. We're doing it. All right. Nice and then snuggin. There we go. Phaser strip. Lovely. Loves me some phaser strip. Okay. So now we need to stick these little bits on. And I think we'll be done with this panel. I don't think we're actually attaching this panel. No, we're not. But we are prepping it. We're prepping the panel. We're not attaching it yet. We're just doing some prep work on the panel. Getting it ready to go. Ready to go into its home. But not just yet. Come out. Come out, please. Hurry up. Hurry up. All right. So now we need to peel. 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 Thank you. And we got... Ah! I should probably... You know what? Let me get my tweezers. That would probably be best. So I actually have a little bit more control here. This is a lot. This is... This is... There we go. Now we're being smart. Now we're being smart. Okay. Now let's just set that right there. Boom. 
And that looks good. And another one. Need to peel, 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 peel. There we go. I know there are easier ways to do that. I just enjoy saying peel. You know, I just, I just enjoy. Let me have my fun, okay? Let me have my fun. Anyway, there we go. Boom. There we go. We got that panel all prepped and ready to go. We got the windows in. We got these little looks like vents. Phaser strip. Love me some phaser strip. There we go. So we can put this off to the side. And now we need to bring in the saucer because we have to do a little bit of work to that. Okay, so we have the saucer in here. And now we finally get to put this bulb that's just been hanging out in its home. So apparently they want us to just kind of thread this under here. And... This is going to end up, there's a little notch for it right here that apparently that's where this bulb is going to live. Okay. So this is not going to be easy, but we're going to do our best. So that bulb's going to live right there, in theory. Will it pop in? It will not pop in. It won't actually sit in there, but... That's where it's supposed to go. It's not sitting in there, but it will be secured. That's what we're using this, uh, this little, this little clippity-do for. So, again, the technical term, the clippity-do. Where the clippity-do is going. Um, so it looks like we are sitting... Which way are we going with this? Oh, okay, no, we're, we're going... We're going this way about it. It's actually coming in through here. How is that supposed to work out? It's <laughs> the question I've been asking most of this build. How is that supposed to work? What are they thinking here? So basically they want us to split, to split either end of this, basically to splay these wires out to the side, which this doesn't scare me at all. I hate bending these wires. I know they can bend. I know, I know. They're probably not as fragile as I'm making them out to be, but still, it scares me a little bit. It scares me just a smidge. A dollop, you know? Okay, so they want that like that. Then they want that sitting here like that. There we go. Like so. And then they want the, uh, the clippity do to sit right over this, and that will hold that in place. Like that. And that will pop apart. <laughs> I need an AM screw for this. <laughs> uh, this is gonna be this is gonna be one of those steps. One of those steps where you're like, um, cooperate please. No, okay. Okay, let me just try to get all this back where it was. <sighs> this is a little bit of an old deal. But it's okay. It's all right. We're here for the journey. We're here for the experience. We're here to boldly go. To boldly go into madness. Okay. So you stay there. No, nope, you're not where you're supposed to be. You stay. There we go. Okay. I think we're in place. I think we're in place. Now I need to hold it in place. Whilst... I screwed it. Okay, there we go. All right. <laughs> yeah, we don't need to go too snug on this, just so it holds the bulb in place. There we go, it's not going anywhere. Okay, all right. We did that. We did that thing. That's what we are. Working with right there, if you can see it. There we go. All right. So we are done here, so we can move on. Okay, so now we are going back to work on our nacelle. So we're bringing in this half. And we have this little light right here that's just going to drop right in. It is keyed a specific way. So it's only going one way. There you go, and it just drops right down, like so. And now, 
we get to merge. We get to merge the two halves of the nacelle. First, we must connect uh, wires here. So they want this. Bear in mind, I don't have a whole lot of slack here. <laughs> Funny thing is, they want me to like, they, they want you in the instructions to do it like this, but when you do that, then the light falls right out. But we can do it like this for now, just because I need it to connect. But you lay right there, there we go. And are we going the right way? Probably not. Which way are we living? Which way are we living? We are living, looks like this way. There we go. Okay. And it is connected as we're going to be. Alrighty. So we have done that. And now we need to put this back on. You know what? I'm going to flip it over this way. And then we finally get to uh, connect the two halves here. Yay! So now we need to make sure that nothing is getting pinched. That has way too much slack, but that's okay. Better too much than too little, I guess. And try to get this all together. Oh, baby. Oh, this is a momentous occasion here. A very momentous occasion. There we go. All right. We got the two halves together. And now this will take three CP screws. Come on. Come on, baby. One, two, three. Thank you. And you'll get this secured up. Hopefully nothing is in the way. I hope. Oh, wait. It looks like I vaguely see a wire through that screw hole, and I don't like that. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Let me readjust things. Okay, I readjusted. I could, I could, I could see like a little bit of wire like poking through that, you know, like poking out in that screw hole there. I was just like, oh, let me, let me re, uh, re, uh, rejigger some things in there. Make sure I'm not pinching any wires because that would be bad. But now we can get this secured up. There we go. Oh, look at this! Look at this! It's looking like a thing. It's looking like a thing. I love it when it looks like a thing. Alrighty, now we can kind of snug in. Get that good. And snug. Okay. Snug. And... Uh, snug. Alrighty. Ooh! Loving that, loving that. Okay, so, uh, looks like the last thing we're doing is we are taking this little bit right here. This is plastic, and this is just going to sit up top, and that'll cover up those screws. And it looks like that's just pegging in. Doesn't say anything about glue or anything, so. Looks like that should just pop right into place. Get everything lined up. Oh, there we go. that all nice and pushed down. There we go. Come on. There we go. Just to make sure it's really, ah, oh, really in there. <laughs> yeah, I put a little bit, a uh, little bit of extra oomph in it. Just to make sure those pop in there real good. Okay, there we go. They got the little bit of detail there. That looks awesome. And we almost have, we pretty much have a complete nacelle. We just need a uh, little battery cover. I think that's, I think that's going to be the next issue. We'll get the battery cover and the battery so we can actually light this up. But look at that. That is pretty much a completed nacelle. Look at that. That is gorgeous. And big too. Look at that. <laughs> that is awesome. Awesome. And Hefty, also. That's hefty. That's got some weight to it. Beautiful. Beautiful. And, um, yeah, that is it for this stage of the build. Yeah, we're just moving on to 60 there. So, yeah, we are done here with this stage 
of the build. We have made some progress, and as always, progress is good. I am most pleased, most pleased. So there you go. And now if you would like to sign up for your own Enterprise D kit, there'll be a link in the description down below for you to check out. And if you missed any stage of this build, there is a playlist in the description down below as well for you to check out at your leisure. And you can watch this lovely starship take shape before your very eyes. So there you go. As always, I hope you enjoyed this exciting episode of MGO Build Stuff. And remember, you don't stop playing because you grow old. You grow old because you stop playing. Be geek, be proud, live long and prosper, and palm in your face.